incoming asteroid will get up to 100 chances to hit Earth, astronomers warn. We're talking about asteroid Apophis 99942. Scientists around the world continue to fret over Apophis. It's a 325-meter-wide asteroid. It was discovered recently in 2004 and appropriately named after the ancient Egyptian god of evil, darkness, and destruction. This is on Sputnik News, January 18. Apophis, or 99942, as it's officially designated, is expected to come within just 37,600 kilometers of Earth, a tenth of the distance between Earth and the Moon, on April 13, 2029. That's only in 10 years. That's a very short time span to have this coming so close to us. And in the meantime, space agencies are rushing to try and get their asteroid missions in order to try and push this somehow away from us if it does become dangerous. Now, researchers from Department of Celestial Mechanics at St. Petersburg State University warned in a report prepared for the Korolev readings on cosmonautics set to be held in Moscow this month, scientists say that the asteroid, which will be moving about 7.43 kilometers every single second, will have multiple chances to strike the Earth in the coming decade as it is, it is impacted by our planet's gravity. The report says, the asteroid's approach causes a significant scattering of possible trajectories, among them trajectories indicating governance in 2051, convergence in 2051, further orbital resonance re-entries contain a number, a great number, about 100 possible collisions between Apophis and the Earth, the most dangerous of them being in 2068, the report says. That's shockingly close. Now, very close in time span, and we have no way of pushing this out. Now, according to the St. Petersburg State University scientists, who have devoted considerable attention to studying Apophis, the asteroid will come within 16 million kilometers of our planet in 2044, within 760,000 kilometers in 2051, within 5 million in 2060, and within 100,000 kilometers in 2068. So we see that the closest will be in 2068. And you see the pathway here, how close it is. Uh, it's between, it's closer than the Earth and the, uh, to the Moon. Now, if the asteroid does hit Earth, it will leave an impact crater kilometers wide, several kilometers wide, and its impact force would, of course, be estimated to be equal to 2,500 megatons of TNT. That's 50 times greater than the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated. For comparison's sake, the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945 exploded with the energy of 15 kilotons of TNT. And this will be 2,500 megatons. Now, for Apophis to hit the planet, it would have to pass Earth at a precise altitude known as Keyhole during its 2029 flyby, that's only in 10 years, in order to swing back around and hit during the next approach. Now, according to a 2013 NASA study, there exists a 2-meter-wide Keyhole that leads to an impact in 2068, but the actual odds of impact are just one in about 2.3 million. And just in case, scientists in Russia and the United States have developed several contingencies to reduce the risk of the collision. In 2016, researchers from Tomsk State University, Siberia, used a supercomputer to calculate a way to safely destroy Apophis using a nuclear charge and to assure that irradiated fragments do not land on Earth. Now, according to uh, Russian Emergency Ministry figures, over 730 asteroids come within 10 million kilometers of Earth. They came that close in 2017 alone, with asteroids larger than 100 meters in diameter approaching dangerously close nearly 100 times.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.